Team, welcome back to another episode of Ask Top, sponsored by MentorMilitary.com. For those of you who don't know me, I'm your host, Command Sergeant Major Retired Mark Garrett. Today I'm going to walk you through how to prepare a letter to the President of the Centralized Promotion Board. Don't forget to download the free example uh, letter to the President of the Board. It also comes with a board preparation checklist. I've included an actual letter I submitted to the president of the board that got me promoted to Sergeant First Class. While it's a little dated, as I'm rather old, the principles and techniques still apply. We're going to count down from number six to number one of the top tips of putting together a presidential or a letter to the president of the board. So be sure to stick around for number one as it'll blow your mind as I am sure it will increase your chance of getting promoted. Now, a little story, when I was a staff sergeant, an SFC showed me how to write a letter to the president of the board. I believe this is why I got picked up for SFC. After that, I wrote a letter for master sergeant and command sergeant major and was picked each time that I wrote a letter. So I encourage you to write a letter to the president of the board. A little history. I personally helped numerous soldiers by writing a letter to the president of the board for them. I'm pleased to say that all but one was picked up for promotion. I can't say it was the letter because they had good records, but I can say it didn't hurt. Let's talk about the board. Each member of the board only has a few minutes to screen your record. When you have a letter attached to your record, they have to spend more time on your record and review what you bring to their attention. What is a letter to the board? A memorandum that allows you to identify issues and explain your issues that are relevant to the board and that the board needs to know about. What should be included? Any information and documents you consider important for the board to consider. First, you need to review your records in detail for any error you can find, no matter how small. This is the information you will consider sharing with the board. Now let's get to the countdown. At number six is height and weight discrepancies. If your height and weight has an error, there might be a problem. You see some people tend to grow as their weight goes up. This is kind of funny and can make the board wonder if you're really getting taller or if you're just trying to make up for extra weight you gain to stay out of the overweight program. Don't laugh. It happens. I had a report that stated I was 73 inches when in reality I was 72 inches. I argued with the individual taking my height and weight and I lost. This was okay because I was shrinking, not gaining an inch. So I put it in the letter as a discrepancy. At number five, if you have duplicated documents in your records, put this in your letter. This reinforces you care about your records and increases the amount of time they spend going through your records and checking out all the awesome stuff you did while they look for the duplicates. At number four, if you find any documents that don't belong in your records, ensure you put this in the letter. Sometimes people make mistakes. I have seen records in which an Article 15 was accidentally put in someone else's record. Make sure you screen your documents carefully. At number three, if you happen to have someone else's documents in your file and HRC hasn't corrected your record, it is possible your record now contains a blacked out document. You need to describe to the board what this is so they don't think it is a negative document like an Article 15 or letter of reprimand. For example, you might say something like, you will note my records contain a blacked out document. This was another soldier's document that was mistakenly placed in my file. Hey, by the way, if you're finding value in uh, our discussion so far, please smack the subscribe button. Leave us a comment about this topic or a subject you want us to review in the um, future and uh, hit the like button. Would greatly appreciate that. It really means a lot to us when you um, let us know how we're doing and that we're helping the military community. So at number two, if your record contains another person's document and you have requested it be removed, but it has not been removed, 
bring this to the board's attention. Here's a tip. Once you've completed your letter to the board, save it for your next promotion board. All you have to do is update it slightly and you're ready to send it for your next promotion. Uh, promotion board. And at number one, perhaps the most important um, error and most important thing that's going to help you is an error or a discrepancy between your duty title and your duty description. These typically are very consistent within people's records, meaning they typically um, are in everybody's records. For example, I had one report that stated I was a cannon crewman, but my duty description very clearly stated I was a squad leader. I had another that stated I was a nuclear weapons technician, but the duty description clearly stated that I was a platoon sergeant. Why is this important? All board members understand the terms squad leader, platoon sergeant, section sergeant, etc. They see it as leadership time. They don't have time to read the duty descriptions. If your duty title was cannon crewman, but you were a section sergeant, as far as the board member is concerned, you were simply a cannoneer and nothing more, meaning no leadership time. If you are in a leadership position or there is a significant issue between your duty title and duty description, make sure you share this information with the board. Hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation. Hope you found something in this rant useful. And uh, we have plenty of awesome videos and there are far more to come. If you're finding value in our discussion, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment about this video or something you'd like to see in the future. And finally, hit that like button. It really means a lot when you let us know we're helping you out. Don't forget to check out the description to download your letter to the president of the board. Uh, we've also provided some links to products you might find useful in these situations. Follow us on Facebook at Ask Top and Mentor Military, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to this channel. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.